The most important thing, in my opinion, is that we take everything we do in terms of spiritual search and our spiritual journeys and also our Torah learning, and we believe that it needs to be done in an environment of chesed and of kindness. Many, many organizations, they look at kindness and compassion and chesed as an activity that they do. They will say, we have chesed programs, we have chesed activities. And we have a few of them here as well. But the most important challenge for us and the most important, uh, I would say, characteristic of our shul is that we try to live chesed every day in the in our daily activities in our study in our spiritual uh, journey my parents moved here when i was seven or eight years old and we've been i've been at hillcrest pretty much ever since then and these two came here pretty much from the minute they were born mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it's where i grew up it's where i feel safe and at home and very comfortable. Why do you want to be at Hillcrest? I here? feel comfortable here. And I have met like some of my best friends here and the fact that I'm able to see them just once a week is the best. Any congregation, no matter what you have, the first thing is the people. And I hear it over and over again talking to new members that they say how wonderful and welcoming this congregation is. There, there's something for everybody here. I guess that since I'm blind, I do things differently, and in here, it doesn't make a difference. I just do things differently. People don't care how I do stuff, and, and it's just an incredibly friendly congregation. I was never affiliated in my entire life, and... Um, and, and I, I, I had the typical Jewish affiliation, and that is my parents were members of a Jewish center till the nanosecond I was at Bar Mitzvah, at which point we left. Through Hillcrest, we've gained a great deal of knowledge. We've made the step either that drove our children absolutely crazy of going kosher, of going kosher, as they said, yeah. which makes them have trouble finding a spoon anywhere in our <laughs> house. When we started coming more regularly, I started to understand what being part of a community meant because when we were missing, we would get a phone call, are you okay? Where are you? And then when I was really sick, this community came together for me and there were meals brought to me and they, they helped me get to where I had to go, whether it was a doctor appointment or a, um, uh, to get to, I was still working through some of my treatment and I got to work because people took me and picked me up and, uh, and I love this place. It's a wonderful community and you're there when people need you and they're, they're there when, yeah. When, when you're, you're in need. Yeah. It's, it's kind of an old-fashioned concept, maybe, to have a real kahila, a real community that works with each other, that is part of each other, but that's what Hillcrest is. I am the camp, camp director. I've been involved with Hillcrest for the last 18 years. We have uh, a Red Cross Learn to Swim program. We have arts and crafts. We have drama. We have Jewish culture classes. We have athletics. We have field trips. I've been involved with Hillcrest for 18 years. I wouldn't still be here if I didn't feel it was a, 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 uh, the right environment for me to be in or anyone else to be in. It's very accepting. It's very caring. Um, and there's a concern, you know, uh, for, for, for every issue that goes on here. I think what clinched it for me anyway was one day after... Uh services during the kiddish luncheon our son at the time runs up to us he's all sweaty he's been running around he's holding a, a cookie and a cup of juice and he says daddy can we come back next week how do you turn that down uh, that that's what did it for us i think now that's what you want in a synagogue environment you want some place where the whole family feels comfortable and i think we found that coming for shabbat services there's a service for everyone there's a service for the kids 
three different age groups. My daughter, who's eight, can go into her own service. My son, who's 11, can go into his own service. Uh, my wife and I can sit in the main service. And it's not just coming and sitting in the pews the whole time. The kids have something to do. My family came to me and they said to me, Ma, that's my middle name, Ma, we're going shul shopping and would you like to join us? And I said, isn't that a wonderful thing to continue to be with my children for Shabbat? And I said, yes. And when we came to Hillcrest, everyone welcomed us. Everyone was so pleasant and so nice and we felt so good about coming here and we jumped right in and joined. We might be three generations of people here, but we have friends in all three generations. People here listen and accept and... And want that, you to participate. Absolutely. And that's what makes Hillcrest a lot different. Especially for our generation, we need something that's a little bit more special that attracts a teenager's eye. And I feel like Hillcrest definitely does that. And it's great for us. We wanted our daughters, uh, we have two of them, uh, we wanted our daughters to have um, uh, an egalitarian uh, uh, upbringing. Uh, we felt that, that girls should be treated the same as boys. My younger daughter started at Hillcrest actually before we actually joined as members. She was going to camp here. Um, and when she started camp, she was an elective mute. She hadn't spoken outside the house since she was two and a half years old. Um, the first day from came back from camp, uh, she was now, at that point, eight years old, and she said, uh, Daddy, you know what I did? Um, I talked. I said, well, who did you talk to? She goes, well, I talked to everybody. And, of course, after the tears, um, I, called, I called Hillcrest. That solidified it. That was the end. Um, when the counselor told me, yeah, she was great, she was talking to everybody, I said, well, you know, maybe, maybe God is giving me an answer as to where I should, where, where I should join. Yes, baby, what? Uh, I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> Caterer. Kiddish guy. <laughs> He's the Kiddish guy. Our Kiddishes are, uh, how would you describe them, Robin? Triple A. I personally love Hillcrest because, you know, of the rabbi. Uh, again, uh, it's not often that you find an individual that goes out of his way uh, to uh, not only educate you uh, in different aspects of uh, our faith, uh, but also uh, opens up his heart uh, to his community, which is the synagogue, and um, brings us all together as one big happy family. I was someone who was maybe not so comfortable in a synagogue. Coming to Hillcrest, especially with Rabbi Kogan, especially with the rabbi and the cantor, Cantor Fuchs, that we have now, the entire Schultz community made it very comfortable for me to learn at my own pace, to get involved at my own pace. I could do what I was comfortable with. There was no pressure. It was very comfortable. They welcomed me as I was. It's probably the place we are the most other than our own house. <laughs> we're here a lot. We are for, we're here for all the holidays, for all the activities. We make sure our children know that this is the place to be and it's somewhere we want to be as a family. When my dad passed away, um, I came here and began to take part in the Minion, and as much as I could, um, probably about four or five times a week, I came and I said the Mourner's Cottage, and people here were just wonderful. They were warm, they were helpful, they were supportive, they were understanding, and even though I didn't know them, I felt like I knew them immediately. It felt like there was this immediate rapport and connection, and, um, it was like nothing I had ever experienced before. Um, and created 
a tremendous level of support for me going through this very difficult time. Um, and it, it has continued to mean so much to me, the way people embraced me and were there for me. There's a very strong sense of I belong here. And we live in a day and age where that's really not so easy to find. You know, and it's a very, um, it's a very beautiful feeling to feel like, yeah, I really belong here and people are happy to see me and, you know, I'm happy to see them and we have fun together and you just feel good about being in each other's presence. We, you know, celebrate our joys and, and our sorrows and it's really pretty amazing. We come to pray to the shul, okay, and we are running late. But we cannot let our run late to the shul, for example, uh, to prevent us from holding the door to someone who is coming behind us. It's not to separate things. I come to pray, I don't have to hold the door. Or I don't have to make a place in my kiddush table, you know, for someone who doesn't have a friend. Everything needs to come together is not what uh, we do in terms of a Hessel program but who we are and who we would like to to become in terms of you know embodying Hesed and kindness in our congregation. This is not a journey in which the rabbi already got the answers and now he comes and he teaches them to to his congregants but it's a journey in which all of us are here together step by step um, we like to believe that while Hillcrest is not a perfect place, uh, it's a good place to be. And we would like to invite you and your loved ones and your friends to join us in this journey, not only so we can uh, try to make your life or to transform your life into a richer life, but most importantly so you can transform us and you can make us into better human beings and our shul into a better place. I feel very welcome and at home at Hillcrest. I do feel at home at Hillcrest. We, we feel, feel at home at Hillcrest. Hillcrest. We, we feel at home. <laughs> we feel at home at Hillcrest. We feel at home at Hillcrest. A thousand percent. We feel at home at Hillcrest. Yeah, absolutely. I feel at home at Hillcrest. I feel at home at Hillcrest. <laughs>